Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm trying to save some of my seedlings that really aren't doing too well. <laughs> if you watched my uh, video on when I was potting up my canna lilies and just doing a seeding, seedling update, you'll know that this tray is kind of suffering a little bit. What happened is my three-year-old daughter wanted to help mama water some plants. Um, I was doing the dishes and she grabbed my watering can and just drenched these seedlings and they never dried out. Um, they started to develop some sort of mold on the top of the surface. I've had a fan blowing trying to dry out the soil. Pretty much M most of my foxglove, you can see how spotty it is, um, most of my foxglove, I say half of them, rotted. Um, a few are coming back. Um, my delphiniums, they're just very yellow looking. Um, I wasn't planning on separating them. I was just going to thin them because I planted enough foxglove. But then over half of them died. So it's like I will be separating and trying to save the ones that are left. You know what? That's just life, you know? <laughs> not uh I want to show the the truth the real side of gardening as well so I did a video on the how to separate and transplant seedlings earlier I transplanted and separated all of my peppers um so I will leave that down in the description box if you want to check out that video or go ahead and just click up in that upper corner pretty much I have my handy dandy transplanting tool also known as a spoon from my kitchen cupboard um, and I I love this you can buy actual seedling trowels and all sorts of stuff this works great I have a flat flat handle there that really works to get in between seedlings and this works as a little shovel but pretty much I have my tray. Um, this is the tray, half of it is the Lace Flower Lacy Blue. I have a few Love and a Puff seeds that I planted. Those have yet to germinate. And then the rest, the other half, I'm just going to work with separating my seedlings and planting it into here. I hope they survive. So I'm gonna start with um, some delphiniums here. Okay, I'm gonna just go in with my handle. Look at those roots. I did not expect them to be, be like that. You know what? I am um, change of plans. I was going to just transplant it into a seed starting tray. I'm actually going to be bumping them up to four inch pots. Hold on. Okay, take two. <laughs> I quickly filled up some four inch pots and I think they'll just be happier in here. So I'm gonna separate it, put it in. Look at those ruts. I love it. I don't know. This soil just doesn't seem to be draining well. I don't know what it is about this soil, unless it's this tray. There's nice size drainage holes at the bottom, but like all of the the soil at the bottom of the cell is just sopping wet. I don't know if it's something with the soil. It's just the Espoma organic seed starting mix. But it's like the water just sits at the bottom of these cells. And um, the plants are essentially drowning. Um, so 
you know, some of these, uh, maybe I'll just transplant all of these out and just hopefully that will save them. Okay, I transplanted 12 um, seedlings over and I have half echinacea and half delphiniums into these little forage pots. Hopefully they'll be happier. I kind of moved around some others, separated them into the cells here, and hopefully if I just keep an eye on watering, make sure it's not too much, <laughs> like um, when my daughter decided to help me, hopefully the rest will pull through. And I think, now I am going to, I already filled this with seed starting mix. Um, I think, I don't wanna just leave the soil in here to dry out. I think I'm gonna pop in some Celosia seeds real fast. So let's do that real fast. Okay, the Celosia seeds that I'm planting Two are from Florette Flower Farm. The first one is Flamingo Feather, which is a beautiful pink Celosia and it kind of fades to a blushy color as it ages. And then I'm also growing Pampas Plum Mix or Plume Pampas Plume Mix from Florette as well. And this mix includes just lemon, apricot, cranberry red, and orange colors, which I think will be beautiful for summertime. And then I also have the Sunday Gold from Johnny's, which is a beautiful light gold color, just like the name says, and I think will be beautiful, this kind of accent in a flower bouquet. So celosias do need light to germinate, so I did just um, cover it with a fine layer of vermiculite that just helps with moisture control and keeps algae down low so it doesn't start to grow. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I have uh, lots of other planting videos coming up as well. Next week starts the main bulk of my seed starting, not just for my cut flower garden, but also for my vegetable garden. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye.